Wow, what a year it's been. This fiscal year started like we expected. A little bit of growth in 3PL, RLSC, belts, binders, Gojo, Purell. We made it through Christmas in the early part of 2020 without much fanfare. We had some good meals. We even celebrated Texas Independence Day with chicken fried steak and peach cobbler and provided some good support to our neighbors. Then March came and the pandemic hit. As far as I know, this lighthouse has not been faced with such an incredible obstacle. There was a risk just coming into work. We moved workstations, lunchroom tables, bought and made face masks, used UV lights and disinfectants to sanitize us and everything around us. Not only did we do whatever we could to stay healthy, the entire federal government and military looked to us to help them stay healthy. The Lippman Building and the entire lighthouse responded in a way we never thought possible. We went from operating three production lines to nine. We went from shipping 35,000 cases each month to 170,000 cases in just one month. We went from staffing the Gojo Purell lines with 32 people to over 96, transferring people from every corner of the lighthouse. It's just incredible thinking about that. I assure you, you have the admiration and thanks of everyone at NIB, the Ability One Commission, the City of Austin, and our military and government customers. Because of your hard work and focus on the customer, we have met the challenge. Who would have thought? At a recent board meeting, the directors approved our request to share $1 million with you. Each person who has been here for a year will receive about $2,500 in their retirement account. Those here less than one year will receive a proportional amount. The board also approved our request to invest in the lighthouse. We will be buying semi-automatic equipment some robotic systems, RFID tunnels, IOTV production line improvements, and software upgrades. All of these are designed to help us develop new vocational skills and build more efficient operations. You might be impressed to know that The Lighthouse is one of the largest nonprofits in Austin. 450 people strong, 250 blind Texans, and operating in about a million square feet of warehouse and production space. But the real lighthouse is the people. It's you, me, it's all of us. I'm exceptionally proud of my team this year. They did an outstanding job by focusing on the things they had to and rebuilding and restructuring the way the information systems organization works. I know that this year was tough. Next year may be tougher, but we're up to the challenge and we look forward to it. It's been long, long hours for a lot of us, um, you know, 12 hour days between screenings in the mornings and afternoon pickups and everything that comes in between. So working those long hours and still smiling and keeping their head up and being cheerful. So yeah, I've, I've been proud of them. The, the board has done what they've done for so many years. They are continuing to invest in the company and invest in our most important asset, the people. I think really it's the people and the mission and what we're doing. It's kind of being part of something bigger. We love the mission. Everybody's passionate. Whether I had 10, 20, however many employees, even with my team of six, that's, that's our passion. We want to see what are the needs, how can we do it, but yet, how can we improve things? You know, that's, that's our overall goal. I was given an opportunity to work here and I saw the, the accommodations they give us to perform our you know, everyday duties and to be a part of something that, um, that's, that's bigger than ourselves, you know. I love working right now because I'm knowing that I'm helping others, not just myself. So yeah, I like it. I like it very much. The job is special because I've met a lot of, you know, wonderful, fantastic people. Um, a lot of amazing people, you know, from various backgrounds. And I'm appreciative to be employed. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to have a job to be able to contribute to my society, to my community. Since I've been working here, uh, in assembly since January, doing all the coats and, and the pants and the things, uh, the jackets. It's just loves being here, working hard, and being, he said before, the first deafblind person to work here. It makes them very proud to continue. I love the work, it's very hard, and I work hard, and I love it. A lighthouse for me is a place that makes you productive and a place that makes you independent. 
It makes me feel good to be able to give back. We're doing a lot of things in this company now to get our name more out there so people know that it's a company that really contributes to all parts of society, whether it's to employ people with visual impairments or to actively give supplies to our soldiers. And um, so I've, I feel really good about myself for working for this company. And I'm just really fortunate that um, this place is here for us, not only to give us a job, but to teach us skills that we can transfer from this job to other jobs. I think there's a lot of opportunities here for me to grow, keep growing and to learn. The main thing I want to do while working here is to, is to learn. One of the things I really do value about working here at the Lighthouse is opportunity. Because the, the Lighthouse is all about creating opportunities. I saw this company go from having maybe 89 employees back when I first started to over 460 employees today. So I am very, very proud of this company. As I said, our hard work and successes have not gone unnoticed. This year, our own Pam Chesser has been awarded the 2020 Peter J. Salmon Award. This is a national award from NIB where Pam competed with 90 other Lighthouse candidates from around the United States. I have a certificate signed by Kevin Lynch, their CEO, and a check for $1,000 to give to Pam. Hopefully in the spring, Pam will be able to travel to the NIB annual conference in Alexandria, Virginia to be formally recognized. The Austin Lighthouse also has the number one state use team member, Nikki Nobles. Nikki is the recipient of the 2020 Artie Lee Hines Award from WorkQuest. I have a plaque from WorkQuest, a check for $500, and a Visa gift card for $500 to give to Nikki as well. Two other Lighthouse Award winners are Ben Lombardo from HR, our Blind Indirect Employee of the Year, and Rita Fields from RLSC, our Sighted Employee of the Year. Both will receive checks for $500. The final award goes to Letty Jackson. Letty is receiving our Lifetime Achievement Award to recognize and acknowledge her commitment and dedication to this lighthouse. Letty will be receiving a check for $1,000. I want to give a special shout out to our custodial and facility staff for keeping this building operating and presenting itself in the best possible way. 2020 has been a challenging but rewarding year. I would be remiss if I did not recognize the great sacrifices borne by many. Many of us became very sick from this pandemic. One of us, Andres Martinez, died, and our thoughts and prayers remain with his family and friends. I can guarantee you, 2021 is going to have its own share of successes and obstacles. We have come a long way and are poised for continued success because of the great team we have here. From each of you, I ask, stay focused on our mission, learn new skills, cross-train where possible, Keep bringing that positive energy and we will become the best place to work in Austin. Stay flexible and don't fight change. Because of you, our future is bright. I thank each and every one of you for all that you do. Understanding that our side or our whatever we're going through doesn't limit us, you know what I'm saying? I, I try not to let my blindness get me down or hold me back. I try to overcome it. Blindness is not what defines us. Blindness is a mere characteristic of who we are. Sometimes we think that we can't do things, but actually we can with a different approach. 